And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now that always confuses, brothers. What is that mark? What is that mark? Revelation 5th, 17. What is it, brothers? Sin. Sin. Very good. 17. Let's read that. And there's nothing deceptive about a mandatory RFID chip. There's no deception in that. You understand? What is deceptive is me making you think that you're still serving Christ. And the most high, we be saying that because people understand. Yahweh me, I was shy, but you're really serving Satan. That step and that seal, you belong to this system. You're able to prosper and work and buy and sell in this bad system. Right? So it's deeper than just an RFID chip. Come. Come. Revelation 13 and verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand right, so the mark of sin in their right hands is the works the activities the practices the these the deeds that you do right read on Come. or in their forehead or in their the forehead, forehead is the philosophies the ideas the customs the practice what do you meditate on what do you think about the mark of the beast is spiritual guess what <laughs> Guess what? You tell <laughs> look. Look, there, there's a, so many arguments for why it has to be the chip. The next place the brothers go is because when you get this mark, you cannot repent. Mm. So if you say the mark of the beast is sin, then we all have the mark of the beast and we're all damned. Nobody never said that. The mark of the beast is being sold out to do wickedness. There is no repentance for willful. Was for right. That's why you can't repent because you willfully choosing to be a demon. You want to be with Satan. You know the truth of God and reject it wholesale. I got that. You have the mark of the beast and you have it in your right hand because you're going to do those wicked acts all the time. Y'all understand? Brothers that saying it's the chip, look. The chip is technology. It's going to allow you, no man may buy or sell without this mark. That's the next stronghold. You can't buy or sell without this mark. Doesn't the Bible say buy the truth and sell it not? I'm asking you. The Bible says buy the truth and sell it not. Right? Without this mark, you cannot buy and sell. Is it carnal or is it spiritual, man? Spiritual. It's spiritual, man. What is the mark of the beast, brother? All right, first and foremost, the mark of the beast, what we teach at HOI as the senior elder of HOI, what I teach is the mark of the beast is more spiritual, meaning oh. having a mark, having a mark of the white man's system, believing in his wickedness, believing in his evil, you know, uh, making an agreement with Satan. Like when the celebrities and the people in power, they sell their souls, all right? They receive the spiritual mark because they but they make a they make an agreement with the devil to follow his ways. All right. Now, as far as the microchip, I know some brothers say the microchip is the mark of the beast, but you gotta understand something. The main scripture they use is Revelation 13, 16, and 17. But you gotta understand something. Microchips are already here, they've been here. They're inside of people, they're inside of animals, they're in our cell phones. They ain't your damn license plates. They The white man can already track you. So he don't need a damn microchip inside you to track you. 